Hey guys, welcome back to Spotlight Arena. We focused on summarizing tournaments in recent weeks, and today we want to change the record and take a look at one of Arena of Valor's most influential heroes, Chaugnar, the Herald of the Void. Chaugnar has been a popular pick in the mid lane for pros around the world, and for good reason. Although he's a tanky support, we've seen top teams playing him against a variety of compositions. Let's use this video to find out why. Firstly, we need to understand why the meta suits Chaugnar's kit. For a long time, we've seen Alice being picked up as a disruption mage in the support role. Thanks to her low cooldown AoE stun and her ultimate's heavy disruption, she's a thorn in the side of engage comps and does a great job at creating bottlenecks in teamfights. Unless teams could pull off a great flank, it was very hard to not only get to Alice, but her squishy team members as well. And that's where Chaugnar comes in. As well as being a tank, he's an anti-crowd control hero with notable damage at the right moments. Here's a breakdown of why his abilities are so influential in pro play. His passive, Void Cleanse, gives him a move speed and damage reduction buff every time he uses one of his abilities. He also self-cleanses all crowd control, meaning he's incredibly difficult to lock down in both team fighting and ganking scenarios. Many popular mid laners have slows or CC in their kit, making him a safe laner to play into most matchups. This means that his team's jungler can focus on the enemy jungler and the side lanes. Energy Surge and Shockwave, his two damaging abilities, round out the reasons for taking him in the mid lane. Energy Surge releases a wave that slows and damages enemies in a given direction, making it an effective tool for clearing the minion wave and harassing his opponent. It becomes even more potent when combined with Shockwave, which deals damage to all enemies near him on use and reduces the cooldown of Energy Surge by one second. Its damage is a little bit lower than Energy Surge, but with a 3 second cooldown versus Energy Surge's 9, it's very common to see pro players maxing this ability first. So he's a tanky, wave clearing, CC cleansing, AoE damaging elephant. Cool, but Arena of Valor is a fast game, and if you don't have a solid impact in the mid to late game, you best be praying your 20 kills to none, or you're in for a bumpy ride. Luckily for Chaugnar, he's one of the best team fighters in the game. His ultimate ability, Chaos Protection, does what it says on the tin. It protects his allies from the total chaos that teamfights often bring. On use, it immediately removes all crowd control from nearby allies and grants them damage reduction and CC immunity for half a second. He gives himself the same buff, but it lasts for 3 seconds instead. It can be used to cleanse or block all sorts of game-changing abilities, from Grack and Gilda's CC heavy ults to high impact abilities like Zooka's ultimate. Already you can see how he's fantastic at turning a teamfight around, but where he really starts causing a riot is the 6 seconds of power that his ultimate grants him. For this time, Shockwave has a cooldown of just 1 second and no mana cost. Not only does his damage ramp up massively, but he's also impossible to CC, moves incredibly quickly, and can use energy surge for even more damage. He may be protecting his team from chaos, but he's definitely causing it in the enemy's backline when his ultimate's active. Chaugnar is a great example of player innovation changing the meta. Although still popular, disruption heavy heroes are a risky pick when Chaugnar is on the other side. Mid lane is often reserved for mages, but even there, Chaugnar is switching things up. For the reasons we've covered today, I don't expect him to disappear from the pro meta anytime soon. We hope you've enjoyed this week's Spotlight Arena. As always, we'll be back next week with another exciting episode covering more of the wonders in the world of Arena of Valor. With the Pro League commencing soon, there will be tons of content for us to explore together. We'll see you next time.